All right, so you guys have probably seen this, the Einstar, the new sub $1,000 scanner from Shining 3D, and be wondering what's the difference between that and this, the Einscan H, runs about five grand, designed for bodies and organic shapes and things like that. Now, the Einstar does a pretty good job scanning people and limbs and things of that nature, but what do you really get for the extra few thousand dollars? That's what we're here today to show you. So you can watch our video on the Einstar scanning the face and the body. We're gonna do the exact same process process here today with the H. So we're going to do that process right now and dive right in. The first thing you're going to notice is in the software. We've got a face scan mode and a body scan mode, and the face scan mode is basically what you get with the Einstar. The body scan mode is going to be just additional algorithms and stuff for scanning, and it picks up right out the gate. We noticed it's much denser data, much faster pickup of data and just overall more data. Plus uh, you can scan a lot faster because it has a wider window view of scanning plus a higher frame rate and higher data gathering. So anyway, with all that said, I've got Eric here from Shining 3D to help us out and he's gonna scan me. So take it away. All right, without further ado, we're gonna start the scan with the Einscan H. And first we're gonna scan the face uh, so that we can compare the data between that face scan and the Einstar face scan. And then we're going to scan the body, and then we're going to compare those two scans with the Einstar as well. All right, so first one, I'm going to do sitting, and then we're going to move to a scanning, uh, standing where we do the whole body. Uh, so you can really see the difference between the two. So I'm just going to sit here. Uh, and one of the huge benefits with the H and the Einstar compared to the, the Pro HD or the HX, all available at visionminer.com slash scanners. By the way, we do sell these, and it helps create this content for you guys. But the biggest difference is the infrared that it's using to pick up the data as opposed to actual light or even lasers. I can keep my eyes open during the scan process without any discomfort or pain. Uh, and I'll tell you, the Pro HD definitely creates a light show. But while he's starting the scan here right now, um, I can leave my eyes open. And that's a huge benefit. Okay, so I'm going to click on the scan to start um, scanning the face. And I'm going to point the scanner over at Rob here until I am able to see in the preview mode all the data of um, his facial features. And once I get um, a good view of his face, I'm Sorry. able to start collecting data points. And I'm just going to run over his face over here. As you can see, um, once I just go around, it's very similar to the Einstar, where I'm able to capture a lot of data quickly, and the data automatically aligns itself. And in those just a few seconds, I have captured his entire face, and now I can go to the back. And you do, uh, sometimes you have to adjust the working distance and brightness a little bit, but usually, just stock settings work pretty pretty well out the gate. And then brightness, especially for the hair, right? Is that what you're doing right now? Exactly. So now I'm adjusting the brightness to capture some of Rob's hair. With this scanner, it is a bit harder to capture hair um, because of the thinness of, uh, of individual hair strands. But we find that most, for most applications here, we don't really need to scan hair. Um, this data can be replicated in software. So we're just gonna, we, all we need is the specific facial features um, and then parts of the body so that we can capture those features and the measurements that we need. So with that, we've been able to complete the scan for the face and we can go ahead and inspect right. the software. Okay, so pretty good. I can turn off the texture and just look at the data. Uh, definitely a lot more density of points here. Uh, I can keep that texture on and then let me just uh, let's just generate the point clouds and see what it looks like all right so now we have the oh. finished data we ready all right let's dive in wow and just out the gates we can see yeah. that there's a lot more features that we've captured along the face oh yeah um, compared to the Einstar uh, the hair is still as hard of the scan but with just data, this data, we are able to create a lot of things. We have all the measurements we need to create a face cast. Uh, we have specific, um, we have all the features that we can take measurements from. And this overall is a much more professional scanner. Um, and so we can get a lot more use cases with this higher resolution data compared to 9star. 
All right, guys, now we're going to do a face scan just to show you how well it does pick up hair. Uh, and so Eric's going to open up that. It's a different mode within the software. You got body scan, which is for the whole body, and then face scan, which gives you more options to be able to scan the hair a little better, and then object scan mode, which gives you some other options to mess with. And if you're considering the H for inanimate objects, uh, personally, I'd probably go with the Pro Series instead. But that's another another topic for another day. Give us a call if you've got any questions uh, or shoot us an email. Anyway, you got it ready? Let's do it. All right, hair scan. What's the difference here? We've got the brightness and we've got the working distance. That's pretty important, right? Yeah. What does that do, the working distance? Is that so, like a focus of where it's... Yeah, so the working distance is how close and how far I can move from right. you or the objects that I'm scanning. And so the way, the reason we have the working distance there for this scanner and also the Einstar is because it makes it a lot easier for someone to go around the person. Because uh, when I am scanning someone, I will be changing the distance from the objects. And for a beginner, that's really hard to manage. Mm. So this mode in particular is to make it a lot easier for the beginning, the beginner, um, while also providing a lot of useful information to work with. So would you say then you could get more advanced with this by using a shallower working distance and potentially get better data? Yes. Good to know. So that's why we have different modes for this scanner. It's also a beginner scanner, but if you want more professional, more higher resolution scans, uh, once you get acclimated to the working distance, you can switch over to the body scan or to the standard scan. And yeah, then nice. you can get much better. All right. Let's see the data. How's this pick up here? Go for it. All right. So click once on the scanner to start the scan. And in the scan view, preview mode, we can see all of the uh, measurements that the scanner is taking. And once I am able to get a lot of that green data within there, I can start the scan. I can also zoom in on my subjects or zoom out. And so I'm just going to run through the face very quickly while adjusting the brightness. And so just comparing it to the iStar here, you can see that I am able to capture a lot more area within the scan frame. And so the scan will be a lot quicker. And I'm also able to capture here as well. So I slowly go up over the head. And just like that, we are finished with the scan. All right, so now we're just going to do the full body scan. I'm going to stand here, get the jazz hands out, and uh, just try not to move very much. The algorithm on the H can deal with it, but he's just going to start scanning, and here we go. All right, so now we're going to start the scan. As you can see, we have Rob's torso in the preview. Once I click again, the data will be uh, start aligning itself. And I can adjust the brightness a little bit for his hands here. And I think I'm going to move back to scan the back of his hands and also this back here as well. All the way down to the 3D printed shoes. Haha. -ha. All right. That took a lot of time to finish that whole scan, but I wanted to get everything in there. Yeah, let's check it out. What did you notice that the biggest differences between the scan with the Einstar and the H? The Einstein H does have a bigger scan frame, so that means we are able to capture more data. But the process of scanning is very similar. We do have to paint in the, uh, the subjects from a lot of different angles. That's pretty good. The, the biggest thing I noticed, I think, is the density of the points compared to the Einstar. Like, there's just way more points in there than, than there were on the Einstar, significantly. And the density of points does uh, correlate with the resolution or amount of surface detail that we can get. So when we look at your hands and we look at all the wrinkles on your fingers or the veins on uh, your palm and stuff like that, uh, we won't really be able to capture that with the Einstar. But with the Einstein H, we can see all of that. Interesting. Okay, so there's a lot more detail, a lot more scan speed, uh, easier to scan, picks up more data in general. So for the lower price, you're getting something functional that works. For the higher price, you're getting something more professional that gets you that higher level of data and performance that you need if you're actually selling stuff to clients, or maybe you're you got a business where you're 3D printing, you know, uh, miniatures or or maybe you're in the medical industry and you're scanning limbs to make custom orthotics and prosthetics. That's actually a, 
You see a lot of that uh, with the H mostly. So yeah, interesting. I'd say the speed is, is one of the biggest things. But if you're on a budget, uh, the Einstar can get it done. If you want the best, though, Einscan H is definitely going to be your choice. Thank you so much for watching. We sell 3D printers, 3D scanners, all kinds of additive manufacturing equipment. We're here to help you determine what the right thing for your business is. Uh, so don't hesitate to give us a call. Shoot us an email. We'll help you out. Anyway, have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for coming, Eric. This is great. This has been a great having you.